Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Friday, happy Friday. It's Friday so it's a weigh-in day, a workshop topic recap and I'm gonna share with you how my first week of August was and a little bit about my goals moving into the month of August. So if you're excited for another weigh-in video, give this one a big thumbs up. It means a lot to me and definitely helps out my channel and if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as well as personalized to you macros and calories. Definitely, definitely have your macros done. It is so eye-opening and essential. Links, discounts to all my favorite things, and of course, another community that would love to have you is my Facebook group. So head on over and join us there as well. So let's jump into this Friday weigh-in, WW Workshop topic recap, how my week was, and setting some goals for August. I'm still completely mind blown that it's August. 2020 seemed to drag on forever and this year has literally flown by. It's August, you guys. We are just a couple months away from the holidays. That is seriously, seriously blows my mind. But I'm excited for August, I have to say. August is ending out summer here where I live and I'm not the biggest fan of summer. I know that's probably an unpopular opinion, but I hate being hot and I would rather be in the dead of winter where it's cold and snowy because I find that getting warmer is easier than getting cooler. Let me know down in the comments if you agree, disagree, and also let me know what your favorite season is. For me, it's hands down fall. I love fall and we're getting closer and closer, which makes me so excited. As far as my food went for August, I had a good week. I tracked every single day, good or bad. Most days I did really well with my food. There were a couple of days that I went a little bit over my calories, but not enough to take me out of a deficit. I'm out of my Weight Watchers points most days, but I will say that there was one day this week that I was not only at my calories, but I was in my WW points. So it got me thinking about doing another what I eat in a week points versus calories and trying to show you how you can stay in your WW points and in your calories. So again, in the comments, let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. It got me thinking when I saw that day that I actually was in my Weight Watchers points and my calories because most days I'm very, very much over my Weight Watchers points in order to hit my calories. I worked out at Jazzercise three days this last week and three days in a row. And this last Saturday, I showed houses for 12 hours. I took a little break for one hour in between and worked out. By the time I got home Saturday night, I had over 14,000 steps and I was exhausted. I was still exhausted on Sunday, a little bit on Monday, and I'm barely like back to normal by the end of the week. So it was just a really intense day. And one of the sets of clients actually lives out of state. So all of the tours were done on video. So I had to literally walk through every inch of the entire house for six houses. So that was definitely Definitely, definitely a lot for me, but I feel like overall with exercise and tracking my food and calories and points, everything was pretty good this week. I'm really focused this month in August and I said this in my grocery haul, also in my what I eat in a day that I posted on Wednesday. So if you haven't seen that, definitely watch that video. I talk a little bit about my reasoning for this, but one of my main goals in the month of August is to really focus on whole real food. Like I've always said, I eat an 80-20 approach, 80% whole food, 20% foods that I love, but I find myself veering from that 80% a little bit where it's more like 50 or 60% whole food and then 40 or 50% processed food. So for the month of August, I'm committing to that 80-20 approach. I'm just trying to see how it affects my body, how I feel every day, and maybe even how it affects my overall weight loss for the month. So that's my main goal for the month of August, as well as I'm in the middle of a self-care challenge. On my Facebook group, my summer challenge group, I do offer quarterly challenges. So if you're interested in something like that, all the information is always in my Jen's WW Tribe Facebook group. 
and that is linked down in the description box. But for the month of August, we are all about self-care and I have a commitment of a face mask every day in the month of August. And I know we're only a few days in, but I'm loving it. I'm loving this challenge. I feel like my skin's never looked better and I feel really good putting myself first for just a few minutes every single day. So overall, my August is off to an amazing start. Before I jump in to my weigh-in, I do wanna talk with you guys about this week's WW workshop topic. And this topic is to shift critical thoughts with a reality check. Now, last week we talked about looking at the good, finding a few good things every single day and focusing more on the positive than on the negative. And this topic kind of goes hand in hand with what we learned last week. Is that critical voice in your head messing with your self-confidence? Then it's time to give that voice a reality check. And we all know that we are much harder on ourselves than we are on others. I literally had this conversation with a coaching client on Monday of this week about how we talk to ourselves and how that plays a big part in our mindset and also how that plays a part in our weight loss journey. So one of those healthy thoughts could be, hey, I was feeling sad today, so I turned to chips and I ate way too many of them. First, we need to ID what that unhelpful thought was. Wow, I always mess up, I can't stick to anything. I have a bad day, I'm feeling sad, and I turned to chips. So now it's time to do that reality check. Do I really mess up all the time? Did I really mess up this time? And really, do I never stick to anything? Third, we need to shift that thought into a helpful thought. I really wish I hadn't eaten those chips, but in reality, I really didn't mess everything up. I've stuck to my weight loss goals before and I can do it again. Time to come up with a plan and just get back on track. Catching yourself in these negative thoughts or these unhelpful thoughts is where you have the opportunity to turn them around, turning them from unhelpful to helpful. Think about, is this thought that I'm having truly a fact? Is it based on something that I think is true? Just because you ate an entire bag of chips doesn't mean you're a failure, doesn't mean you've screwed up your whole diet, doesn't mean you're going to gain weight this week. So think about whether or not the thoughts that you're having are actual reality. And most importantly, think about that thought and is that something that you would say to a friend? If I came to you and said, I really screwed up, I ate an entire bag of chips, I'm such a failure, I can't stick to anything, what would you say to me? And whatever your response to me would be should really be your response to yourself. And after you challenge that unhelpful thought, just replace it with a compassionate one. I think the takeaway here is whatever you would say to a friend who comes to you with that same situation, think about that and then say that exact same thing to yourself. Give yourself a little grace. Treat yourself the way that you would treat others. I know for me, I can definitely not treat myself very nicely. <laughs> I can definitely not say nice things to myself and I'm really mindful of that. I feel like over this last year, over 2021, I've even been more mindful of how I'm speaking to myself. When I look in the mirror, I don't say, oh my gosh, you're so ugly, you're so fat, your hair looks horrible. I always try to think about something positive. Maybe I really like the earrings that I'm wearing that day, or maybe I like this color of shirt on me. I try to focus on the positive things and speak nicer to myself, and I truly, truly believe this makes such a huge difference. So now let's jump in to my first weigh-in for the month of August, and it was a good one, you guys. It was a good way in. When I stepped on the scale this week, I am down 1.1 pounds. In my humble opinion, I think that's a fantastic way to start off the month of August. Entirely honestly, I truly deserve that loss of 1.1 because I did really well this last week. I'm really focused on those whole foods and I'm wondering if this downward trend is going to continue through the month of August by focusing on whole food, tracking my food, and just getting in a couple of days a week of intentional movement. So I couldn't be happier with the first weigh-in of August and that puts me at over 60 eight pounds down since starting my weight loss journey, which again, I'm so incredibly grateful for. So now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know how your week was. Let me know what you think about a points versus calories, what I eat in a week. Let me know what you think of this year flying by. Just let me know all the things down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this weigh-in, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Happy for Friday, friends. I love you all so, so, so much. Check out the description box before you go, and I'll see you in tomorrow's massive stock up haul. It's back to Costco shopping, and it is going to be a massive haul, so stay tuned. See you in the next one, friends. Bye.